Dehydration is a condition where you've lost an excessive amount of fluid from your body. Um, the body likes to stay in a very tight balance between salts and water. And when you are either ill from uh, um, a sickness which prevents you from being able to drink or eat um, because of nausea or vomiting, or whether you have an illness that um, involves some diarrhea and you're losing excessive amounts of, of fluid and you're not able to keep up, then you may get into a, a, a situation of imbalance where you've lost too much water for your body to function efficiently. Um, at that point, you know, you can treat this in several ways. Initially, if it's mild dehydration, and mild being that um, you're still making tears for your children, are still making tears when they cry, they're still wetting their diapers, um, but they seem like their their mouth is getting a little dry and their lips are getting a little dry. Those situations you can treat at home with little sips of water and uh, electrolyte-based uh, solutions like Pedialyte, like sports drinks or half-strength sports drinks. If your child is able to keep those in and continues to make urine and continues to cry, uh, have tears when they cry, then you can treat that at home until they've recovered. If you get to a point where um, the diapers aren't wet, the older child or the school-aged child isn't able to urinate on a regular basis, um, their eyes start to look sunken, they start to look ill and very punky, just laying around, then those are the situations where you want to bring the child to a physician for an opinion or to the emergency department uh, where they may require an intravenous um, treatment with um, fluids in that manner. For older adults, um, elderly people are also very at risk for dehydration because they may not be mobile, they may not be able to get up to get fluids for themselves, or they may be too sick to call or to get to a phone. So in your older um, family members, if they're ill or if they're alone, please make sure that you check on them, make sure they're getting enough fluid, and if not, they too may need to visit their doctor or the emergency department for more aggressive treatment.